Hello, hello, Jeff Helvin here with Balan Brands, and today I wanted to review uh, one of the themes that we like to use, or one of the page layouts, I should say, we like to use on the KW Command websites. So I'm going to first take you in here. We're in the KW Command. I've logged in. I've clicked on the Sites link over here on the left, and I'm going to click on Create a New Site, which really I'm creating a new page. I'm going to click on My Agent Site and hit Create Page. So first thing I'm going to do here is update the title here. So buying a home in Las Vegas, for example. Okay, and then we have these different widgets over here we can use. I'm going to focus on the company profile. That's actually the one I like to use the most because of the, the layout and what options we have there. So I'm going to drag that over and you'll see by default it has kind of our plain information here. Now I like this one because it has a nice graphic header, it's got this little overlay here with the text, and then of course we've got our options down here below. So once I've dragged that over, I'm going to click on Configure Widgets, and I'm going to click on Company Profile, and the first thing is is the headline. So the headline is this right here, the, where it says About Royal Realtors, so I'm going to change that to Buying a Home in Las Vegas. And then we also have Intro Text, so if we want to Intro text is going to show up here. I don't actually want to use the intro text in this particular case. So I'm just going to delete that out. You'll notice it's not required. Then we have the header image. So I'm going to go ahead and replace the image with a new one here. Okay. And then we have a section one heading, which is here, section one heading, but it's not required. Then we have section one text, which is required. So for most, most of the time when I look at this, when I go to intro text, if I wanted to have something right here in the center, I think the instinct here would be to update this box, but then not have anything down here if we didn't need this, these uh, alternating rows. But in our case, because section one text is required, I'm gonna actually leave the intro text empty, get rid of the heading for section one over here, and then I'm gonna put, what I wanna do is actually just put a video on this page. I don't need to have any text in this particular case, I just want a nice video for my visitors that land here. So I'm going to go to our YouTube channel and find a video that I'd like to use that we've created here. And then I'm going to click on Share, then click on Embed, and I'm going to copy this content here, this Embed Video content. So just hit Copy. And I'll go back to Command, and I'm going to paste that in right here in that Section 1 text. Now, again, it looks like it's going to show up over here on the left because we have the images and whatnot over on the right. But if I just delete that image out, I'm going to get rid of the content, the text here for section two, get rid of the text for section three, delete out that section two image, and then get rid of all the footer heading and text. So ultimately, all I have now is this header, this title, and then a video. So I'm going to click Save and Apply. <clears throat> And here you go. You'll see now we have Buying a Home in Las Vegas, and then we've got our YouTube video here to do it. So that's just a quick little update. Uh, lots of different ways to use this particular content, but this one gives us the most uh, attractive layout, in our opinion, with uh, just a few elements to add to the page and kind of build from there. So if you have any questions or if there's any way we can help, we'd love to help you. You can email us at team at